Good afternoon, 18th of February 21, the Spanish flag, corporate social responsibility. Throughout history, the uh, Iberian Peninsula has been strategically situated in the middle, in the center of uh, economic uh, business, and therefore it will continue in the same place. So the uh, LNG, chemical, LPG are ex excluded of this video because these uh, hardships to train uh, in this coronavirus situation uh, Spanish officers and ratings. In the core focus of this video of corporate social responsibility, the coastal trade uh, merchant uh, marine, we're talking about containers below 10,000 tons offshore, uh, general cargoes below 6,000 tons. These three key elements provide quite a lot of uh, volume of ships trading in Spain that could easily change into the Spanish flag because there is a supply of around 20,000 Spanish seafarers and with this pandemic, this supply has increased say 10-20% uh, for now, which we could also train a uh, crew from the uh, fishing like we have done in the past towards these ranks of uh, general cargo coastal ships. Why is it so advantageous, the Spanish flag? Because it has a huge grant of 90% employer social security. So out of 34% total social security, 28 approx is on behalf of the owner and 6 on behalf, 6.6 .6 on behalf of the seafarer. This 28% has a grant of 90%, which that means that ship owner pays 2.8. And for this 2.8%, ship owner gets the crew covered for sanitary assistance, unemployment, retirement, sanitary assistance for the whole family. And the whole uh, uh, system of uh, social system in Spain. Also, it has a grant of 50% income tax, which means that if a captain in a general cargo, let's say 5,000 tons, earns 4,350 times 12, which is roughly 50,000 euros, they pay income tax of 25,000 euros. So, at this uh, geometrical uh, income tax curve, that means that perhaps at uh, 25,000 euros, this uh, captain or chief engineer would be uh, uh, paying around, say, 15, 16% roughly of these 25,000, which is a huge competitive advantage to attract all those officers that are sailing under flags of convenience worldwide. Uh, this competitive advantage is today, and as a, uh, a company headquartered in Spain, although we have uh, worldwide offices, it is now the right moment to see if we can be uh, corporate social responsible with our people and employ our people in that area of competence. That's the biggest, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, challenge and the most beautiful task of a business person uh, to employ your people and uh, your flag and in your town, in your place. This for ship owners trading around Spain, it is a huge competitive advantage because it's a corporate social responsibility. There is the pool of the seafarers, there is the 20%, 50% travel cost that could be uh, reduced. Also, there is the emissions of these uh, so highly uh, uh, conflict we have today of pollution. And so we can employ local crew. In these risk situations also, it is always handy to have uh, your relief, my relief close by, so we can talk in the phone or by messaging and then very fastly arrange these reliefs. It is also the disadvantage. So we have the disadvantages and the advantages. The disadvantages of the Spanish flag, of course, are the very inefficient, inutile public system. I mean, these bureaucrats, hopefully one day will be Alexa and then this fines, the inquisition puts will disappear. And this is the huge disadvantage. The advantage uh, is that uh, if you have a crew management company that uh, can act as employer on behalf of your crew, we have a company in Canary Islands, another one in, uh, in uh, here in Bilbao. So we invented the Spanish sandwich for VAT 
and this is something that it is history. Now, regarding the supply side, we can also train the uh, fishing ratings to go into general cargo ships. And uh, as I mentioned, it is very important area of business for me to try to uh, push local uh, uh, crane, local flag, my flag, Spanish flag, and to generate uh, intrinsic value compounded jobs for the future. Of course, we cannot get nothing from the uh, public side because these are completely inefficient bureaucrats. But what are the advantages? You can rely on the crew management contract in Candina and you can have an offshore ship for 320,000 euros of eight crew, which is very advantageous. And if the ship is trading coastal to the Spanish coast, then it is also very advantageous. The risk side that you can forget about it and the pool side in the supply side of the Spanish seafarers, which is of great operational competitive advantage for ship owners not to be always with this risk factor of the flights of this coronavirus. And I hope you have liked this video and more owners have started asking for this Spanish flag for the coastal ships, containers, offshore, general cargoes. And uh, as I mentioned, it is not uh, advisable nowadays in the LNG, uh, chemical, LPG, because this inutile uh, public trading system is not up to the standards today of doing everything uh, uh, digital. And even still, they have not uh, extended the certificates of the crew like other countries have done for this year or six months. But it is hugely competitive advantage nowadays to think that if you rely on an expert like Candina, more than 100 years doing this, with the local expertise for the uh, employment contracts, for the payrolls, for the social security, for the bureaucrats' papers, so they are happy for the health prevention. It could be huge advantage for you, dear ship owner, because Spain will not change place, and therefore it will be a strategic is right in the center. And why not involve into employing local people? Because a ship owner, I guess that. Of course, one of your biggest aim is also to be responsible and to be ecological. And that means that uh, corporations can be more competitive, have huge competitive advantage and help the people around us in our areas of competence that we can help employ more in the long term and generate more intrinsic value where we are because then the ship owner will find out that compounding this utility would bring also more long-term opportunities for the ship owner. And a strategic partner is very important because for me to explain what are all the implications of this social security, the income tax, the profit tax also has 90% deduction, and these, all these uh, ending of contracts, starting of contracts, renewal of contracts, they made, you see, in Spain, the most intelligent person is someone that really something very simple makes it very uh, very complicated. That's why I went to Hall University because I had that uh, uh, university degree of four years then means that very intelligent person is someone that in just 8.57 seconds tried to explain to you a very, very, very complicated Spanish flag but we can make it simple together. I'm waiting for your uh, uh, contact, for your email, so that we can benchmark transparently and disrupt the market in a huge way because only 115 ships out of 60K are now worldwide using the Spanish flag. And for those sectors I mentioned, coastal sectors, it's a huge competitive advantage for ship owners and very ecological and very healthy to eliminate this risk of coronavirus and uh, in the long term. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Take care, be safe.